guys today i wanted to bring you guys along a full kind of like work day in my life because i haven't done one of these in like years so i thought it'd be a fun idea because i got requested to do a work day in my life or work from home vlog so i'm like you know what that's actually a really good idea i'll take you guys along kind of my day and show you guys what i'm doing for work since i usually like don't show that type of stuff that in depth so i thought it would be fun because i feel like some people are wondering what i do all day because i don't grocery shop and go to pilates all day I, I definitely work and there's stuff to do behind the scenes stuff that i'm projects that i'm working on etc so yeah i'm gonna take you guys along and show you my full entire day i literally just woke up up. I barely got any sleep last night because I was finishing up a sponsorship that needed to be sent over yesterday. It was just like took me so long and I didn't get to bed until like past, I don't know, I think it was past 11.30 and I usually go to bed at 9 because I wake up at 5. Yeah, I was debating not waking up this morning and just like sleeping in a bit but we persevered. It's only Wednesday today so I'm like it's too late, it's too early in the week to give up like that, you know? So if i really want to i could also take a nap later in the day that's something that i'm really not opposed to doing because i feel like naps are really good for recharging i don't want to take like a three hour nap because that's actually so bad like i wake up so groggy if i take a nap too long but if it's like a power nap half an hour i'm all for it because those can be so much energy so maybe i'll take a nap later but i do not function well off of six hours of sleep and i got even less than that i got like five by the time i actually like got in bed and fell asleep so it's okay we can do it we're still gonna persevere the first thing that i do in the morning you guys already know is i get ready for the gym so i'm gonna just do my morning routine get ready for the gym and yeah it's gonna be a fun day guys strap up to come along hey, good morning ready for the gym wearing all black i've been loving wearing all black to the gym it's just a vibe i'm wearing my bbl jacket that i recently got this is like literally my favorite thing ever especially for the summer because i don't need to wear like a full-on jacket anymore this is the perfect little sweater so i'm bringing a banana with me just because i haven't honestly been having bone broth in so long because i haven't been ordering it and the one that i was getting at my grocery store i realized it had like canola oil in it and just like a bunch of added weird ingredients that i didn't want so i just have been in a bone broth slump i guess you could say but i do need something before i work out so i'm just bringing this banana i'm gonna have it in the car and then obviously my tumbler guys i never got the big tumbler hype but ever since i got this cup i did actually a collab with um simple modern on my instagram and you guys when i'm telling you i drink actually all my water that i need to in a day because of this cup like i credit it all to this cup and it keeps it cold it's amazing so and it's also leak proof and spill proof this one is so good i will link it for you guys on amazon i genuinely love this cup so much and yeah i will link it for you but i love it so much better even than a stanley it's just so much cuter so i got my dry water bottle and my banana my phone and my gym bag so anyways okay let's go to the gym baby
just made my little fun drink of the day and now i'm gonna go upstairs i showered this is called my work outfit of the day so i just put something on uh like right after i shower i put sweats on and a hoodie today but what i mean by this is like my work outfit is that if I am not doing anything today, I will stay in this all day. But if I am doing something, then obviously I'll change. And sometimes I'll change multiple times in a day depending on what I'm doing. So this is just like my basic fit. I'll just put on sweatpants and a comfy, cozy crew neck or something. Start the day off and then I'll change when I need to, when I get ready. If I'm going out. I'm going to go upstairs and do my emails. I love doing my emails when I'm drinking my beverage because it just makes it so much more fun to ease into the work day. And this is like the first time I'm going to be going on my computer today and checking anything. Let's go and do our emails. very 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 start of my work day the first thing that i absolutely need to do and that's necessary for a productive day is look at my content board and create a to-do list for what i need to get done today you guys already know i prioritize organization because that directly correlates to productivity for me the more organized i am the more productive i become they go hand in hand you guys often like ask me and comment on how i manage my days and i stay so productive and this is the answer i would love to say a huge thank you to click up for sponsoring today's video because they have have seriously changed the game in terms of productivity for me they have seriously helped me stay on track with everything work related and they help me feel like my life is so put together it's insane like i don't have to stress about forgetting anything if you guys have never heard of it ClickUp is the ultimate productivity tool that can help you merge all your productivity reminder apps all into one place so it's super super seamless and you don't need to be opening 10 different apps just to organize your day you know on ClickUp, you can create folders for all your projects drag and drop checklist boards collaborate with partners set real recurring reminders, track your time on various tasks, manage calendars, and leverage a whole suite of productivity. So lately, I've been using ClickUp to literally manage everything, specifically my YouTube video content calendar creation. The thing I love about them too is it's so user-friendly and really, really easy to just start using. I hate to say it, but ClickUp may have replaced Notion for me, and that is huge. That is huge. You guys know I use Notion all the time. But the problem with that is I had to use it alongside other things. But the beauty of ClickUp is, like I said, everything is there in one place. When I complete a task and check it off my board, it's the most satisfying thing ever. It's just like, I feel like I just want it life. I know a lot of you guys are in school too, so ClickUp would definitely even work if you would want to use it to manage your school stuff, like your projects and all that. And obviously, you can manage it for your work, and it's great for working like in teams as well. So if you guys want to start being organized and get your lives together, ClickUp is amazing, and I totally suggest that you guys sign up because I'm telling you, you will be in your ClickUp era too, and your organized era, and we can all meet our goals together. So there's absolutely no catch. You guys can sign up for ClickUp for absolutely free using my link that will be in the description. So you guys can visit tryclickup.co slash Michaela. And if you end up creating a template that you love, please share it down below in the comments. We can all help each other out. We'll be in our protective girl era together. So anyways, thank you so much to ClickUp for sponsoring today's video. Visit my link in the description and sign up for free. I just got ready for the day. Just like did my makeup and stuff because Talia and I are recording the podcast today. So I obviously get ready on those days. One hundred percent because i'm filming i actually have kind of a break on sponsorships this month because for the past i want to say two three months now i have been locked and loaded with sponsorships i don't even want to complain about it because it's amazing 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 and i'm so grateful that i have the opportunity to make money but it's like a lot of uploading and my past months were just like super jam-packed so i was like go 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 upload 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 and now i feel like i can kind of take a breath because i don't have as many sponsorships this month and usually like on a normal month i'd say i post around like four to six times that's like my average but for the past three months i've been posting practically twice a week ish 
maybe like six to eight videos and it's just been a lot i've just been vlogging so much and it's been so fun i honestly love being in the groove of vlogging but recently i have completely fallen out of it because i feel like i kind of burnt myself out a little bit where i was just like literally on camera all of the time and it doesn't like sound draining to be on camera all the time and vlogging 24 7 but it kind of is just because i don't even know it's everything needs to be perfect you're always thinking of what shots to do and you need to be entertaining and so anyways with all that being said i just wanted to get the point across that i feel like i can take a bit of a breath of fresh air because i don't have so many sponsorships this month which is kind of a sweet and sour thing you know what i mean but as a creator everything ebbs and flows so much there's months where i make double what i made the previous month i feel like i have like a certain threshold that'll always like i always end up meeting and then sometimes that is tripled sometimes that is doubled and the income with this job is pretty much unlimited depending how much you want to work and how hard you can work for it in a sense i feel like no matter what because of youtube adsense i always do make a certain amount of money even if i don't have any sponsorships that month which i haven't gone a long time to be honest where i haven't gotten a sponsorship in a month which is amazing my manager has been doing such a great job at getting me sponsorships because if you guys actually didn't know 90 percent of where my sponsorships come from is my manager pitching me to brands because she has a whole network pitches me and her other clients to brands and i would i think like 10 percent of my sponsorships comes from in-house so brands that actually reach out to me in my email obviously some months are just naturally better than others there's more brands looking for partnerships that's why it's so ebb and flow like i can never tell anybody this is how much i make per month because like i said it's fluctuating all of the time which is kind of a beautiful thing because even though i don't know how much i'm necessarily making each month i have always made enough i really want to focus on potentially this month on making my videos more compact and jam-packed with things rather than posting twice a week like i have been for the last while and kind of just making like a weekly vlog with a bunch of things happening and i want to get a drone and just like create a summer diaries video or something and just vlog like my whole entire week and do fun things so i think that's gonna be like the next video that i start filming if because if i'm making two videos a week i'm basically vlogging from monday to wednesday or tuesday and wednesday and then thursday and friday is my second video because i just bring the camera with me throughout like my daily life but that could get repetitive and i know you guys some of you like the repetitiveness of like my daily routine and i try to incorporate like my daily routine into every video regardless but i do especially for the summer just want to switch things up a bit and show you guys some more interesting things like going outside going to the beach you know going on hikes since it's like so different here in the summer so that's my plan for the next month and obviously i think i have actually let me i can check for you guys how many sponsorships i have this month i have one two for this month i have three sponsorships that is a big switch up because last month i had like seven i think or potentially even eight but i had a bunch and the month before that too and obviously there's always like that last minute sponsorship that i get at the very end of the month that brands are like needing to you know meet their quota or whatever and i always end up doing like a last minute one so i have three secured right now and i'm probably going to end up I'm assuming doing one more so that's going to be four for august i already have one lined up so i don't have too much on the calendar honestly right now but i'm so grateful for what i do have already and it's amazing so anyways i just want to give you guys a bit of the behind the scenes for that all of my income comes from youtube adsense and sponsorships the occasional time like i already told you guys in another vlog i'm getting like kind of i'm in the union for acting and stuff so i have been doing a little bit of background acting with my sister since she has started to do it as well so i have make a little bit of income from that got a little paycheck this month but other than that those are like my main streams of income so anyways right now i'm just kind of waiting for talia to get here because she's going to be here probably within the hour and while i'm waiting i'm just going to be editing my vlog that is supposed to go up tomorrow i have a sponsorship in it that i just sent over to my management to wait to get approved and so we'll see if that can go up on time but i do want to kind of like finish editing the whole video today so i'm gonna start on that i kind of already rough cut it so now i just kind of need to go over with the edits music text etc so i'm gonna work on that 
while I am waiting to record the podcast. It is officially recording. So I just finished editing. Alia is going to be here very soon. She's currently on the way and I got dressed into my podcast recording outfit. I have these shorts on from Aritzia. They're really cute. I'll show you the full thing in a minute, but I'm in a white tank top. We're actually recording outside today because we've been wanting to switch up the background for the podcast a little bit, especially in the summer and switch things up for the YouTube channel since we can really record from wherever we don't have like a studio. We usually record it on my couch here but we were just like talking and saying like since it's summer why don't we just go film in cute locations so we're gonna go drive to a park and lay out a blanket and just film there and hopefully it's not that busy because our mics are actually really really good where they don't even record any sound that is like not right on the like if i'm holding the microphone and then i put the microphone down like this and i'm still talking you won't even be able to hear anything that i'm saying they're that good so it really only gets our voice so i feel like even if the park is loud or whatever you will literally not be able to hear it you'll just be able to hear our voices regardless so the mics are really good for that i think they're called like shotgun mics anyway so i'm gonna do a bit of prep for the episode right now since it's kind of a themed episode we're gonna do an episode on boundaries because it got requested so i'm just gonna kind of think of things that i want to talk about and write them down on my phone and kind of debrief before she gets here so that when she gets here we can start recording and i just like kind of preparing a little bit for the podcast when we do have a topic because i feel like i always have so much to say but then once i'm actually in the moment i forget a lot of what i actually wanted to say and it's really frustrating to look back on because i'm like i should have just wrote things down so that's what i'm starting to do is like kind of just making a summary and like point form of like what i want to mention and like things i want to talk about so that nothing gets left out and so yeah i'm gonna sit down and do that right now she's probably gonna be here in like five ten minutes so i'm gonna do that quickly and then we're gonna get bubble tea before we record the episode because we also have a beverage for the episode and we're going to drink it while recording so this is not technically work i guess because we don't make money from the podcast just yet but it is something that has a lot of potential that can make us money one day in the future and that's not even why we're doing it like we gen genuinely love the podcast and i don't even see it as work but i guess it kind of is because i do social media i'm trying to build another platform so at the same time it is kind of work but we're not being paid for it, so it's just up the starting stages. So I kind of like it like that right now, though, because it feels like more of a hobby. But yeah, I do spend a lot of time like editing it. She does the Instagram and a lot of time still does go in it that I allocate per week because I have to cut it up into reels and TikToks and schedule all the posting. But it's really, really fun for us right now. And we're not stressing about making money on it. If the money comes, that's great, but it's not like the prime Mary focus of it right now so anyways okay gonna debrief and then we're gonna go shoot the podcast it is hot in here i need to like turn the air conditioning down or up here are the shorts from aritzia guys how cute are they like i'm obsessed i'm so obsessed with these shorts and like the wash of them music outfit today Back, I really know? want someone to like say something mean to me so I can go, are you okay? <laughs> uh, you're looking a bit sick. Are you okay? <laughs> Let a me... normal person wouldn't say that. Are yeah. you okay? Yeah, I just that... like that's so funny. No, that, that okay? actually is funny. Because then just they're going to be like, what? Thank you. And yeah. they're like, what? <laughs> Honestly, just confuse, so confuse the shit confuse out of them, the and then that's like them. that's how you get and back. Like, how did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. And then it's just a whole yeah, the whole right? bundle of confusion. We just recorded the podcast, and we did it outside, which is so crazy, but it was so much fun. So I think the episode is going to be posted by the time you guys are watching this. So go check it out. But we were out there for a couple hours, and I am sweaty. Like I kind of feel gross right now. So I think I'm going to change out of my clothes. My hair kind of got messed up. Maybe I'll redo it a little bit and I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping. But I just exported the footage onto my computer. I don't mess around with that. Like 
we recorded that whole podcast not for it to be deleted on the memory card so whenever i film something i'm usually pre pretty di diligent about uploading the footage to my computer right away so that it's backed up and i don't delete it off of the memory card until the video is actually posted because i have like a fear that i'm going to lose footage so it being backed up in two places puts my mind at ease and then i know i'm going to be okay just because i've lost footage before and it's not fun at all like at all so i make sure to like back it up especially for the podcast because we record for so long we definitely don't want to lose the precious precious footage so i have that backed up and i think i usually don't edit the podcast until a bit later in the week so i think i might do that tomorrow or friday but i try to get it done before the weekend so that i could go up monday and um yeah anyways i'm gonna do a little bit of editing right now and then i'm gonna go out because we need it because i need to go grocery shopping today so let's get to it also the girls love they love guys sleeping on my desk while i work and it's the cutest thing ever they're just here basically all day with me and it's just adorable i can't handle it <laughs> shopping because i prefer going kind of in the middle of my work day or right after the gym like get it done first thing rather than going after i finish work just because that is when the grocery stores are the most busy at around five onwards just because that's usually when people get off of work and then everybody is rushing to the grocery store so i prefer since i have the option and i make my own schedule i just prefer going when it's less busy because I just hate crowded places. There's a time and a place for a crowd, you know, but when I'm grocery shopping, I prefer to be not in a crowd of people. So I just like it when it's the middle of the day or in the morning when there's not many people. So I'm gonna go grocery shopping now. I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible just because I, oh, baby, what are you in the video? She is literally always a fiend for the camera. I love you, what are you doing? What are you doing? So yeah, that's the plan for right now. I don't like taking too much time out of my day to go, but I guess I kind of see it What if I go midday, I see it as like a break, like a lunch break, going out and go grocery shopping, you know what I mean? So, cause I can't just like work the full day without any breaks. So I kind of see it as just like to split my day up a bit, get out of the house and then come back and continue finishing what I need to do for the day. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's go grocery shopping. I will see you guys when I'm there. She is a fiend for the camera. Mm. Okay, guys, I just got to the grocery store, but I have no idea what we need. Honestly, I'm just going to improvise because we don't have anything. I swear, I haven't gone grocery shopping in like two weeks and we've been just like hanging on by a thread. Because recently, you guys already know I've been avoiding going grocery shopping, but I'm trying not to even think about it. I'm trying to just go and do it and be very grateful that like that i have the ability to just literally go grocery shopping and grab food whenever i want so more seeing it as a thing of gratitude and something that i get to do rather than i have to do because i go through ebbs and flows with life and just things that i do in general and sometimes certain things can be harder than other things it's just such a privilege to go grocery shopping so i need to just be grateful that i can do it you know because it's so easy to just order it from your phone but it's like then you're just literally never gonna leave the house at that point so i try to like make a point of doing things in person just because i feel like it could get very dystopian if you can just do everything online and it's just such a weird concept to me anyways um yeah i'm looking at my grocery list we basically need everything so i have like an ongoing list that i just like you know rebuy and we basically need like everything so i'm just gonna go through every single aisle as quickly as possible and buy my usual things and restocks and we'll see where we end up so let's go get some groceries try not to you know dawdle a lot I dawdle too much because we got work to do so let's go get grocery shopping for that. Big 
big haul today so i'm gonna go through this as fast as possible just because like i said i hadn't gone grocery shopping and it feels like forever so i had to stock up and get so many things so i got this super green mix got some roast turkey then i got a bag of apples just because i want to start eating more fruit since it's summer got some bananas i got the coke poppy and then the strawberry lemonade i got some peanut butter fun fact about me is i love a good crunchy peanut butter and i ran out so i got this new brand because i usually get it from costco but i didn't want to go to costco so i just got this brand but it looks really good i got some sweet potatoes pepper kombucha milk cheddar cheese almond milk strawberries blueberries mushrooms watermelon guys i do not know how to cut a watermelon okay and i'm scared of it so i just get pre-cut watermelon i got some dairy-free yogurt this one's the best avocados olives Fun fact, I have been in my olive era. I rediscovered them recently and now I'm addicted and I cannot stop eating them. It's actually bad guys, like I'm addicted. I got some Frank's hot sauce because I missed it and I've been just using sriracha recently but I've been craving Frank's. Got some of these rice cakes, mangoes, coleslaw, milk chocolate, some chicken nuggets for the freezer, some granola, chocolate chips, and Zevia. And that is the haul. I also got a bunch of chips. I got these yam ones. I got these beet ones. A bunch of assorted chips because they were basically like buy one get one free. So had to take advantage of that. And then I got a bunch of meat. I got chicken wings, ground beef, ground turkey, and then some steak for the week. So yeah. Okay, now I'm going to put this all away and then we're going to get back to work. I am pretty much done for the day. I just have one more thing to do. I need to make a thumbnail because the brand that's sponsoring a video wants to see the thumbnail. I will say weird request. Never been requested that before. So I'm going to make that. Then I'm basically done for the day. It's currently like six o'clock. I try to like cut my work off at a specific time just because I can be going all day. Like I woke up at 5 a.m. today. If you think about that, I've basically been go, go, go since five since I woke up and went to the gym right away. And then since then I haven't really just like relaxed. So since I aim to go to bed at around nine to 10, it's nice to have a few hours, you know, at night after dinner to just like fully relax and I can watch my love islands because I've been obsessed. I've been obsessed. I just started the US season and I'm now watching the UK. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the quick thumbnail. I take my thumbnails very seriously if you do youtube you know what i mean because your thumbnail is like your selling point of the video and that's how you attract new viewers is they're gonna click on your thumbnail and thumbnails are just so important so i don't like to just sloppy joe something together i actually like to put time and effort into my thumbnails so i have to do this i don't feel like doing it right now but i have to do it so i'm just going to do the best that i can sometimes thumbnails is a very easy process for me it takes 10 minutes 15 minutes and i'm done but other times i struggle with finding the right photos for the thumbnail and it just it's really annoying so i really hope it's a smooth go <laughs> right now pray for me thank you usually throughout the video i'll be taking like photos on my phone for the thumbnail sometimes i'll also take photos from like screenshots of the video it just depends how many photos i have and it just yeah it depends on all that so hopefully i have a good amount of photos right now in here to make this for my thumbnail process, I basically pick out the photos on my computer and then I'll go on my computer and take screenshots of any photos that I want to use from the video and then I'll put it on Canva. After it's on Canva, I'll transfer to my iP iPad and then do like the text on my iPad. I just prefer that. And then that's basically it. So I'm just searching for some photos right now. It's just annoying because I can have like a really, really good video, but then the thumbnail won't hit and the video won't do well. Like literally the views on your video doesn't even depend on how good the video is. It depends on the thumb, like the marketing of the video, which is actually like crazy to think about that it depends on that rather than the actual quality of the video. And that's why it's like so important to have a good thumbnail because if I like a video and it doesn't do good, I guess whatever. But it's just so satisfying when you make a good thumbnail that, that gives 
the video justice, you know? And sometimes I'll have a shitty video. Well, I never, I don't want to say I ever make shitty videos, but a video that I don't like as much. And I'll make a really good thumbnail and then it's like, am I catfishing at that point? A little bit, but... This thumbnail was actually due yesterday, technically, but I just didn't finish it. Like, I just, I was working until like 11 p.m. yesterday because I had this thing I needed to finish and I needed to get that in. And then at that time, I was so tired and I'm like, there's no way I can make a thumbnail right now. A lot more work goes into it than you would think for me. I know some people just like slap a thumbnail together, together and they don't really care. Personally, I care, so <laughs> it's a little bit more of a process. This girl craves attention. Yes, you do. You just meow until I pet you. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't stop until you do. You little cuddle bug, you little cuddle bug. Good Pino, come here. They're both here. Oh my god, they are so cute. It's not even funny. It's not even funny at this point. Like, it's just illegal. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this thumbnail. We'll report back. I charged up my iPad because it was dead. Now I'm going to do the thumbnail, the rest of the thumbnail, while I watch some Love Island. I have been obsessed with Love Island. I just feel like it's such a summer show. It just scratches an itch in my brain that I never knew was there. If you guys don't watch Love Island, do yourself a favor and start it because ugh, it just it's top notch, especially if you want something to binge top notch i would recommend watching the uk one first because i just like that the best and then move on to the us one but oh my goodness it is it is so good so anyways yeah i'm gonna put it on make the thumbnail and then i'm basically gonna wrap up my work for the day i'm just gonna send this over to my management when i'm done it and then and then that'll be it for my work day today i'm all caught up on the uk episodes so now i'm watching the us Love so island us i don't know Okay guys, that was officially my work from home vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Every day kind of looks a bit different for me. Sometimes I don't film and I'm just editing the whole day. It really just depends what I have to do that day. It's always different and it's always changing, which is one thing that I love about what I do is that it's very creative and I never do the exact same thing every single day. I'm always editing new footage and it's really a fun experience. So I'm super, super grateful that this is my job. Like it's really weird to think about it that way sometimes because I have been <laughs> you're kidding me <laughs> be new she wants to say hi because I have been dreaming of doing this as a job for the longest time and the fact that I actually am doing it now and my dream came true is absolutely insane and it's sometimes hard to process that so i just like don't think about it it's weird but i am super over the moon grateful and i have such an amazing life and i've built such an amazing life for myself and i credit that all to believing in myself and following my dreams so if you guys are you know working a job that you don't like if you want to switch career paths know that anything is possible if you set your mind to it no matter what you want to do reach for the stars because nothing is unattainable so yeah i guess also making money online is not as sometimes as glamorous as it seems of course to me personally it's one of the best jobs in the world but with every single job once you make something an income there is often downsides to that that are tied with that so obviously i don't want to focus on the negative things but it isn't perfect you know what i mean nothing in life is going to be perfect but it is damn close to it so anyways i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and again i'm so grateful for every single one of you watching my videos and i truly am so grateful to be doing this as my job still blows my mind to this day but i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and comment down below if you have a job what you do as your job or if you're in school what you're studying i would love to know more about you guys so please leave me a comment down below we could chat and it would be so interesting to see what you guys do for work and <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much.